At Kibila Girls Primary in Abaswain, images of sad and gloomy faces greet you once you get into the school compound. These young people cannot come to terms with what befolded upon their once dear classmate. The death of Rahmat Tiqo, a class 8 people, three weeks ago could not be explained. The young girl was mysteriously butchered just outside the school compound by a man in a broad daylight. <laughs> With the KCP exams fast approaching, these young girls are finding it hard to study as the incident is still fresh in their minds. At the Qadir Ahmed, the school principal, tells us that death of Rahma has left the atmosphere of sadness in the school. On uh, 5th of October, just some two weeks ago, we had uh, a very serious incident where we lost one of our candidates. A young promising class 8 people was just butchered outside the school compound on her way to school. On her way to school. And, uh, Unfortunately, the girl died instantly and uh, on arrival at the hospital she was pronounced dead. Uh, it wasn't uh, very far from the school compound, just uh, behind the school compound, a place by the name Water uh, It was at the Water Bowl. So it was a very unfortunate case which really had a very serious and negative impact towards the candidates. The man who was since taken to Garissa for further action is alleged to be of sound mind and is reported to have been planning to kill the young school girl. The school also has no fence which makes the girls prone to further attacks. Now, let me hope that the justice will be, will be done on this girl because the, as we think that man was not manned as it was reported. He was of good mind or sound mind and now we are asking the government or, and even the NGOs to do the, the much they can to fence this school because even if that man could not get the girl on the way, I think he could come even the school since the school is not fenced and it took place very early in the morning. He knew very well there were no many teachers in the school and now he could come even inside the school and do whatever he had planned to do. Rahma is a girl who was uh, butchered. She, her name is Rahma Dego. Uh, that is one of the few girls that we started with in this school eight years ago. You can imagine staying with a child for eight years and losing the same child under mysterious circumstances is very painful, not only to the parents, even, but even to the teachers and the pupils. It has left a very wide, a very life touching uh, traumatization on uh, the younger girls. The parents are too traumatized. Uh, the, the teachers are so. So actually on uh, Monday we had uh, a counseling session. We invited a sheikh from the local community who was uh, counseling us. And, uh, both parents, you can really see or you can find the, actually the negative impacts it has left on both the parents, the pupils, and the teachers. Incidents of schoolgirls being raped and killed have been increasing in the last few years in the county. Most times, the perpetrators of these evil acts do not get the right punishment, and the blood of these innocent peoples is lost just like that. The incident at Kibilai Girls Primary in Habaswe is just one of the many cases of young schoolgirls who are mysteriously murdered, and the public now feel the government need to introduce new legislation. I mean selective approach by the leaders. Ahmed Zayn, Alpha TV.